Hello, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through the Course of Miracles the Daily Lessons. And today, uh, we're on, uh, what we're doing is we have a focus here, uh, what is salvation? So this will be the introduction to the next uh, 10 lessons. Introduction to lessons 231 to 240. Salvation is a promise made by God that you would find your way to him at last. It cannot but be kept. It guarantees that time will have an end and all the thoughts that have been born in time will end as well. God's word is given every mind which thinks that it is separate or has separate thoughts and will replace these thoughts of conflict with the thought of peace. The thought of peace was given to God's son the instant that his mind had thought of war. There is no need for such a thought before, for peace was given without opposite and merely was. But when the mind is split, there is a need of healing. The, the, so the thought that has the power to heal the split became a part of every fragment of the mind that still was one but failed to recognize its oneness. Now it did not know itself and thought its own identity was lost. Salvation is undoing in the sense that it does nothing, failing to support the salvation, rather failing to support the world of dreams and malice. Thus it lets go of illusions. By not supporting them, it merely lets them quietly go down to dust. And what they hid is now revealed, an altar to the holy name of God, wherein his word is written within the, with the gifts of your forgiveness laid before it and the memory of God not far behind. Let us come daily to this holy place and spend a while together. Here we share our final dream. It is a dream in which there is no sorrow, for it holds a hint of all the glory given us by God. The grass is pushing through the soil. The trees are budding now and the birds have come to live within their branches. Earth is being born again in a new perspective. Night has gone and we have come together in the light. From here we give salvation to the world for it is here that salvation was received. The song of our rejoicing is the call to all the world that freedom is returned, that time is almost over, and God's Son has but an instant more to wait until his Father is remembered. Dreams are done. Eternity has shined away the world, and only heaven now exists at all. So this is a, a little interesting talking about time, because uh, in, in one very real sense, time does not exist. And so um, this first paragraph is a little challenging within that context. Salvation is a promise made by God that you will find your own way to him at last. It cannot be but kept. It guarantees that time will have an end and all the thoughts that have been born in time will end as well. God's word is given every mind which thinks that it has separate thoughts and will replace these thoughts of conflict with the thought of peace. So it guarantees that time will have an end and all thoughts that have been born in time will end as well. I believe is talking about coming into oneness or wholeness, right? There isn't anything really but the moment that we're in. And coming to the realization and the understanding and the experience that you are divinity in form in a timeless place where love is the expression of what you are. And I think that the moment any other expression becomes your expression, you've reached separation 
you've you've split from what you were created to be which is a peaceful loving being and that peace will return the moment you remember your wholeness and come back in to being God, the individuated divinity in form. So I hope that makes sense to you. If you'd like some additional support, reach out to me, 907-351-3003, or you can message me or on Facebook or YouTube. And then look for today's daily lesson as well, uh, which will be lesson 231. So um, thank you for joining me for this, and uh, I will see you for the next lesson in just a moment. Namaste and much love.